All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hoboken, New Jersey, international. All right, great thing to lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Nice one, two there. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick.
strike there by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big head kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more you of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbows inside, because otherwise, it's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right. Oh, collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Slips the punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the hit. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Right on the button. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great punch. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just out of range with that left hook. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He blocks the punch. That was lightning fast, that right in. Stay safe. Be smart. Big kick land. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch from the clinch. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Big. These guys are going at it. Back and forth we go here! <laughs> Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. What a punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. You got to check these low leg kicks. Ten seconds to go in the round. Look at him drive his shin into his whole body with that body. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands flush with that right hand. 
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice head kick. Out of range with that one. And they separate. Oh, spinning back fist. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Put your hands up higher. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. That was a thudding leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Throwing that jab, no good. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Nice punch there by Lee. Checks that leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Straight right hand now just misses. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Right hand upstairs. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. My goodness! Oh, nice high kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick. And he comes through with a big knee. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Thirty seconds to go in round two. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. What a body kick. Again, back into his position. Oh, beautifully placed and time kick there by Lee. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. Big leg kick lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful strike. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee there to the chest. Knee strike here is blocked. And he continues to work the body here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big body kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Just over three minutes to go. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Punch land. Stay strong. Stay strong. Keep moving. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Overhand is good. All right, single collar tie now. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big elbow there. Checks the leg kick. Oh! Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. They continue to exchange. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, single collar tie here. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, big knees. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Nice loop and punch. Real nice body kick. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Crippling knee to the body. Nice liver shot lands. Right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Very nice outside. Wow! We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. Five, five, five. All the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle 
is the one out of hit. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it fight. wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Back and forth we go. Oh! Liver kick. Well, missed on that one. He's back to the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Big kick lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice. Nice body kick. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Three minutes now to go in this one. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So we'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout Roof, the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.